ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for five three-minute rounds for the Caged Aggression Amateur Heavyweight Championship, powered by Wilson Construction. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he stands six feet, one inch tall, and weighed in at 262 pounds. He trains at the Peoria Athletic Club and is sponsored by Bloom Hemp. PAC Martial Arts and Whiteout Promotions. Joining us from Peoria, Illinois, Cody the Mack Truck Baker. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands an even six feet tall and weighed in at 256 pounds. He trains at Unified Martial Arts and is sponsored by the Dispensary LLC and In Your Face Tattoos LLC. Joining us from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, he's your current Cage Aggression Amateur Heavyweight Champion, Dante Johnson. Get ready to rock and roll as the big boys are ready to do the business. Here we go, they touch him up, and we're in the center of the cage. Leg kick from Cody Baker. Good power with that lead leg, very fast. Absolutely. Left hand from Dante Johnson, left cross, right cross gets in, closes the distance. Big explosive movements. Dante Johnson, probably about an inch or two shorter than Cody Baker. Throwing knees. Gets loose, back to the center, presses the issue again, comes in with a left, another left hook. Leg kick from the other side. I'll tell you what, those are good kicks. Front kick. Cody Baker maybe work, working on some of that Muay Thai. Ooh, big shots from Dante Johnson. Yeah, throwing everything right there, buddy. Yes, they are. Listen, this is a one-rounder. Could be, and then it'll go all five. <laughs> this is set for five three-minute rounds, as it is a amateur championship fight. Well, they're not pacing themselves for five, are they? They certainly aren't. Back kick, kick gets checked, left gets through. Both guys, good skills, very good movers for heavyweights. Ooh. Right leg kick of his that own. Hurt. That yes, hurt. it did. Hurt Cody Baker pretty bad. Oh, Ooh, goes back to it. Lowers his hands after that one. Dante Johnson staying poised. Straight poised. leg, he's straight leg, look at that. Got to keep that knee bent. Ooh, Cody Baker sneaks in the left. Falls off with a big right that misses. Dante Johnson blocks that shot, comes in with a right of his own. Left straight from Johnson. Dante Johnson definitely pressing the issue, 40 Southpaw seconds. Southpaw stance now too. Nice leg kick. Trashing those legs, bud. Dante Johnson round right now, still very close. Ooh, body oh. kick, ooh, big shot. Wow. Dante Johnson looks in control in this first round. Cody Baker might have to go to back to the drawing board a little bit on those strikes. Start out strong, ooh, big left, right. Cody Baker out. might want to resort to his wrestling a little bit. Right? Oh, that Perhaps hurt him. Left hand gets through. Another He's left hurt. hand. Right, left, left. Definitely getting that second round. Uppercut oh. left. My wow. goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. And what a way to end the round. Certainly solidifies it for Dante Johnson. Yes, I would say so. You know, Cody Baker came out strong with those leg kicks. Very sharp, very quick. Good front kicks as well. Absolutely. Uh, Dante Johnson closed the distance, put him up against the cage. Beautiful his own striking. Chris, Chris, fundamentally sound boxing. Let's watch some of the action here. 
Dante Johnson comes in with a left. Hits him with that right. This is in that exchange. Left hand gets through again. And he's leaping in with that straight left, but it's getting through. Yeah. He's closing the distance with it for sure. And his head movement is enough that he's not getting clipped by Baker. There it is again, that left lunging in. He is leaving that shit up a little bit when he does it. Gotta watch the counter for sure. But so far, so good. Yeah. Dante Johnson, the slight favorite at 51% and change over at cagedepression.tv. They slap him up, get ready to get down. Crowd getting into it. There's one of those leg kick, leg kicks from Baker. Dante Johnson oh, coming big, in. Big left hook. Dude. That was a smoking Joe Frazier leaping left hook. Those were fun to watch. My favorite fighter when I was a kid. I always liked Joe Frazier. Tell you a story Bert Watson told me about Joe Fraser because Bert used to manage him. Ooh, left, right, Baker. Ooh, straight from, uh, from Baker. Right, right back at him, right? Yep. Beautiful jabs. Double jab right there. I like to see that. You don't see a lot of those with heavyweights. Testing the waters with that kick. Big overhand right, just misses. Dante Johnson has done a great job of keeping the distance on those big strikes and closing the distance when he needs to. Again, I'm surprised Baker hasn't looked for a takedown. Obviously confident in his standing. Willing to exchange. Dante Johnson comes in with the body kick up. What happened? What happened? Poked him in the eye. Poked him in the eye? Yeah. Is his... And that yeah, he threw the kick and then pushed off with his hands and poked it. Yes. And, and Dante Johnson acknowledged that. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't he didn't attack, he could have. The right. referee didn't see it. Yeah. It's tough to see from this angle. And those things happen so quick. So yeah. quick. Right. They're very hard to call at times. And then sometimes it's not an eye poke, it's a knuckle. Yeah. You know, and it just happens. Well, let's hope this doesn't hinder his. Oh, I hope this doesn't this close fight. it out. Doctor's in there looking at it. Got a great one going. So yeah, it doesn't look good. And he looks like he's in pain on top of it. Ooh, that does not look like a tickle. No, thank you. I am afraid this is probably going to be the end of the fight, folks. Don't talk negatively. I'm just, if, you know, when they, stop. when they take a knee like that, Pat, and it's not a good sign. That eye is closed. He's obviously got five minutes to recover, but we're probably down one minute, and it's still closed. Doctor's going to look at this. I would not be surprised. He's, he can't see. It's over. They're going to call this one. Unfortunate ending to a very fun heavyweight you fight. just shut. You just stop. Well, it looks like he's going to try to make, I and mean, maybe he's going to try to wait the five That's minutes. That's way to be positive, Jason. Thank you. You know. Positivity and reality, they're two different things, Pat. Hey, positivity can get you through a shitty reality, bro. That's true, but I'm positive Pete. <laughs> I mean, he's still over there. The doctor's still not calling it off, so maybe there is some hope that we're going to see this fight. Again, five minutes. I am hopeful. No, because it was a great fight. Both these guys were performing very, very well. Very fun fight. Very, very fun fight. Unfortunate if it does end this way. Uh, definitely like to see it run back, if so. Yeah. So. All right, he's getting to his feet right now. Phil does not look fight ready, however. Have you ever been poked in the eye really bad? Yes, it's it the hurts. worst. Not only does it hurt, and you, feel you can't your see. your eye go back three inches into your head? Yeah, well, not that far, yeah. but enough. It hurts. Yeah, no, it's not, yeah. it's not a good feeling. Dante Johnson calling for him to keep yeah. going. Watch this fight. That's very true. 
I mean, is there an actual solution to that with MMA gloves? I know I've seen the one glove that curve your hands in that they can't seem to get a patent on. What are your thoughts on that, Pat? I think even in boxing gloves, people extend their hands to push off. It's that extra distance. So it is just a habit because a lot of people spar with their boxing gloves on. Let's see if we can get uh, our referees right here, some kind of a replay on that. On that uh... Okay, so we're pulling back, uh, rewinding to the eye incident to see if it was a toe or a hand that poked it. Okay. Okay, we're trying to do it. Sorry, guys, we're doing it live. There we go. So the hand that swiping. That was the hand swipe. And that's how we do it live. So we're looking at it. It looks like fingers. It looks like it's going to end up being a no contest, unfortunately. Unfortunate indeed. Dante Johnson is not going to be happy. Look at him right there. Complaining in the cage, really wants it. And, and look, you saw it. It was a swipe. Yeah. So, look, he's trying to strike. The doctor's still, you know, the doctor's still trying to give him a little time here. That's a finger swipe. Definitely. It looks like this is... I just don't see it going, Pat. I, I, I want to say positive. Well, you can't call the guy out after you're poking in the eye. Just... No, I agree. I, I mean, look. I'm not. I'm unfortunately, not. it looks like, again, they're going to have to run this one back. It was a great fight they had going. So. Exactly. Very fun heavyweight fight. I was having fun. I, I'm still having fun. I mean, we got four more to go after this. Jamise Taylor, Jerry Ariola, uh, Cortavius Romius. Kane Luger, Jeff Jepson, Eric Bowe, and of course, the big one, Dan Stitchin versus Dan Hornbuckle, the battle of the Dan. Referees consulting with one another. Uh, Cody Baker talking to his, uh, his coaches right now. Where were we at in the fight? We were in the second round, right? Man. I believe so, we were about a minute and 14 left. So. But it's a five rounder. Right. You're not halfway through, so I'm not right. exactly sure how this is going to go down. This very well could be a no contest. And it looks like finally we got Vargas in there. We're going to find out how this one goes down. So since we haven't gone to a certain point, it technically has to be a no contest, I think. Again, I'm not quite sure if there's a different rule for the amateurs. I wasn't quite sure where it was last night with Dan Dominic Martin and the up kick. Uh, you know, it's always questionable when something is ended they by an illegal blow. They weren't to a certain point, so they couldn't go to the scorecards. Same as this. So by those standards last night, it has to be a no contest. Well, I guess we're fine. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Josh Stewart, has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 36 seconds into round two due to accidental eye poke resulting in a doctor's stoppage and no contest.
Jason Vargas going to talk to Dante Johnson. All right, we're here with your still caged aggression amateur heavyweight champion, Dante Johnson. Dante, you know, obviously not the way you wanted to walk home with the belt, man. Give, give us your thoughts on tonight's bout. <clears throat> I mean, shout out to Cody. I mean, much respect to him. Uh, it was a great fight. The first round was great. Uh, I was looking forward to more rounds. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go that way. Um, but you know, I love to run it back uh, whenever, whenever he's ready. Uh, you know, I, I want to see who the winner is. He's a good fighter. He's a big guy. He moves light on his feet. So do I. Um, I apologize to the fans. I apologize to my family, uh, my family back home, everybody at the gym. I wish I could have actually got it for real. And you know, it's, this don't, you know, it don't feel right to me. So I need my redemption. And I hope Cody's okay. Um, and I, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm, I'm grateful at least. Well, look, I think we're going to try and get the replay of the kick up here on super slow motion. I don't know if you can get a view on the screens back there. Give us your thoughts on this as we're watching this now. Uh, let me see. That's super slow mo. <laughs> Well, look, is there anyone you want to shout out while we're waiting for this kick to come up? Um, I want to thank uh, my whole family. I want to thank uh, my family at the gym. I want to thank God. Um, I want to thank all you, all you fans for coming out. Um, yeah, I mean, what? I mean, hey, 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 listen here. Hey, listen here. Hey, listen here. Hey, keep booing. Keep booing. Keep booing. Hey. something else to be settled here. We'll get to the bottom of this down the road, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get to our next bout. Let's hear it for both fighters from our last bout, ladies and gentlemen.